gonna go up and get some kids ready because uh, people are, yeah, they're, it's eight o'clock and we gotta be downstairs at eight o'clock. So gotta get these kids, man, gotta get these kids. Hey. I need some help. Okay, go downstairs, go downstairs. I gotta get everybody else ready. You guys gotta go down. Miss Brown will help you. Hey. <laughs> As always. Typical. Mister, you have to get used to this. I was waiting to do it for Maluka. This is, this is my favorite part of the vlog is watching... <laughs> watching people freak out. How you, how you feeling, huh? Good reason, thank you. How do you look? Fresh. Yes? Um, the deal is that you don't have to do work when you get back to school for history, so long as you... Win best delegate. That is a fact. <laughs> Special political. I'm a lead chair. Vice chair. You're a chair. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Please, oh, please please chair. It's, a, it's like my chair. So it's super inverse. Yeah. <clears throat> I move up the chain quick. <laughs> My name is Anthony Coles. I'm the head of school at the International School of Turin. And on behalf of the, uh, the organising committee of Toman and the school itself, uh, welcome to the fifth edition of Toman on the UN campus here in Turin. I think it's the seventh uh, Toman that the school has hosted over the years, um, but the fifth here at the, uh, the campus of the United Nations in Torino. To recap, uh, one, start simple and build your way up eventually. Two, speak with your fellow delegates during lobbying time and make new friends. That will really help you become comfortable in your committee since you know everyone, more or less. And three, fake it till you make it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I chose to come to Torino, or maybe the organization chose for me to come to Torino because I was part of the United Nations. I have had a very, very long association with the international organizations, um, certainly longer than your lifespan, and uh, it's been an amazing, amazing opportunity. You see, when you work for the United Nations, you realize um, how privileged we are. We take for granted uh, a life of uh, where it's warm, where we have food, when we have education, uh, where we have access to medical <laughs> services, uh, and yet most of the world does not have that opportunity. Now, this is not a theory. It is, it is a fact. It is a fact. And when you work to the United Nations, you realize that this is our job. It's to make sure that everybody has the same opportunity. So it is, it is a wonderful experience, and I hope that today is going to give you that curiosity. Clearly, because you joined this exercise, you already have that curiosity of saying, OK, what, is, what are the others like? So uh, be curious. Um, debate with passion, but with also with kindness and open-mindedness and, and, uh, and uh, most of all, uh, have fun. Thank you. So just a couple quick announcements. 
Uh, first of all, if you're passing a note, make sure to tell, like, write who it's from and who it's to. Uh, the second thing, we're gonna have a gossip box. So, so if oh, <laughs> so if you have anything to say, I don't know, just anything gossip, we'll announce them at the end of the con uh, end of the end of the conference. And then the other thing, make sure to send your resolutions to the email above uh, to Matthias. Non ho idea di come si scrive. Va bene così. Ok, grazie. Solo che non mi si è... What's this resolution about? Uh, it's about the question of ensuring the safe disposal of your aim. Is there a, a sponsor? Uh, yeah, the signatories, which I spelled bad, are Norway, the United Arab Emirates, Denmark, Egypt, Botswana, Chile, and Iran. Does the delegate of the United States feel uh, uncomfortable with the fact that uh, the clause uses uh, Pakistan and China as a model and not the United States itself? No, the delegation of the United States does not have a problem with this. The United States recognizes that other countries can have pacts and it is fully, it is fully all right for this to happen. The delegation of Iraq really likes this resolution. Uh, we think that it has a really good point to tackle our issue. But we have to keep in mind the fact that we are trying to ensure a safe use of space. How does the delegate of... Uh, Jordan. 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 Uh, uh, respond to the statement that that's a specific anecdote that, doesn't, that still doesn't relate to preserving peace. What? Uh, why doesn't it relate? Of course it relates to preserving peace. That's an anecdote, but there could be a thousand of anecdotes that a thousand situations. That's not only an anecdote, but it's also a situation that could happen. So what happened? What are you recording? <laughs> Come on, but this yeah, is important. Okay, this is okay. so important for the vlog. Jacob, go Jacob. Okay, so what happened was there was uh, one delegate who wanted to give a speech. So they were like, all right, you can give a speech if you're quick. So she gives a speech, right? and it's fine, but then this guy gets up with a point of information, and it's the only one we allowed, and his point of information, even though we told him to be brief, he spent like two minutes giving her a statement, and then she's like, was that a question? And we're like, can you please rephrase, like under a sentence if possible. So then he spends another 30 seconds re-explaining the question, and then she has to answer it, right? So in total, this has been like three or four minutes now that they've had this back and forth. And then, as right as she's about to give up the thing, or uh, give up the floor, to, back to the chair so we can vote and move on, somebody else asks uh, if they can extend the point of information. And uh, my brain was telling me, uh, to, uh, yeah, this is not in order due to time constraints, but my mouth just shouted no. <laughs> and everyone started laughing, and I was like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's move to voting procedure. Usually on these trips, I try to keep up with the students and um, eat my weight in greasy junk food. And I, <clears throat> today I had a uh, big wheel of rubiola cheese. 
on Pietro's recommendation. How was the first day of the conference? Good. I asked one question, that's it. Okay. I, I understood now. Just one last one. But I have faith in you, birthday boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't throw me off tonight. What's inside? Bro, without the And all the worlds we have to walk for one day.